Mission is supported by the Star Ghana Foundation with thanks to Danida, UK Aid and the EU. She was born with an extra chromosome, but that won't stop her from living life to the fullest. Living with a condition known as Down syndrome, eight-year-old Toda and her family are hopeful. Their story will inspire Ghanaians to treat persons living with the condition with respect, love and affection. <laughs> When Agnes Teko Nyamite became pregnant at 46 years, she left with joy knowing her pregnancy was indeed the miracle she had been praying for. And then when I went to the hospital and I asked, I missed my period, the nurse on duty said that it was menopause because I was 46 then. But I asked her to allow me to go through the lab test and see whether it's pregnancy. So I went through the lab test and the following day they asked me to come and it was positive. It was a difficult one because I had had my first child um, who was 18 years then. But when she gave birth, she was told her daughter had extra chromosomes, meaning she was born with a condition known as Down syndrome. An associate partner with my church, First Baptist Church, she came actually to visit me when I was in the hospital. And I had told her that the doctor had told me that my daughter has Down syndrome, but I refuse it in Jesus' name. She told me that, yes, you can refuse it. It's not, it's not bad if you say you refuse it in Jesus' name. But what if God says no? I will not change this girl's condition. But this is the child that I've given you. What will you do? You don't know me that, yes, God can also say no. This is the child I've given you, so what, what will I do? She had told me that she had delivered a, a baby girl. I didn't know there was any conditions or she was... Uh, she was diagnosed with any condition, so then when I go home, and I saw herself in the self in the web, and she was reading about Down syndrome, and then I had an idea about Down syndrome. I didn't really know what it was, but I had a general idea of what Down syndrome was. So I asked her why she was reading about Down syndrome, and then she just broke down in tears. So then I knew that it must have been something close to me, someone close to us. So I just uh, I just uh, surmised that it was my sister who had Down syndrome. Vowing to let her daughter live in a socially inclusive environment despite the challenges and stigmatization, Agnes has enrolled Toda in school. She's at the Walmart Christian Academy and she's making progress slowly. I love you, you love me, we are one big family. When she was first enrolled in the school, she wasn't able to identify colors, even to grab a pencil or a crayon to color. She was having a problem with it. But thanks be to God, now she can scribble, she can color in an accurate uh, space that you give her to color. Parents of children with special needs should always be encouraged to send their words to school. Here at the Wilmot Christian Academy, Toda is a living example that through inclusive education, children with and without special needs can all be in one classroom and enjoy quality education. Down syndrome is a lifelong clinical condition caused by extra chromosomes found in a person's biology. Chromosomes determine the physical characteristics of every person such as the hair, eyes, color and height. Children with Down syndrome because of the extra chromosomes come with some peculiar physical traits. For example, they may appear to have a flat face, eyes that slant upwards and are more floppy, resulting in delayed developments like sitting, crawling, walking and talking. Diagnosis of Down syndrome can be done at the prenatal stage of pregnancy using blood tests and an ultrasound scan. 
Despite the challenges and limitations that come with having Down syndrome, Toda is living her life to the fullest. She's a model and works like a pro. She offered to even teach me some lessons in modeling. Down Syndrome Awareness Month is marked every year in October to celebrate people with Down Syndrome and to make people aware of the abilities and accomplishments of persons living with the condition. Toda, darling. Yes, mommy. You know I love you so much. Yes. When you came into my life, I thought you were a problem. But you've been a blessing to me. And I love you so much. I believe that there are a lot of things that you can do. And by the grace of God, you achieve them. Thank you. I love you. I love you so, so much. Thank you. My mom and I, we set up a foundation, Toda Kunet Foundation, and the purpose of the foundation was to create awareness on the condition, Down syndrome, and uh, also to educate people, to um, reach out to people, with Down, uh, children and parents of children with Down syndrome, reach out to them and then try to encourage them to accept their children the way they are, love them the way they are, teach them how to be able to cater for themselves. Porsche Gabo, TV3 News, Accra. In other news, two weeks after TV3 aired a news item on 10-year-old Charlene Tunbani, a young girl living with multiple disabilities, or well, she's gotten some aid, the Kapuri Children Resource Foundation, a non-governmental organization in the Upper West Region, has mobilized resources to support Charlene's educational and health needs. A report by Yakubu Abdul Gafu. On September 29, 2019, TV3 Mission aired a story on Charlene Tunbani, who lives at Baguri, a suburb of Wa in the Upper West Region. She had multiple disabilities and needed support to undergo medical care. Two weeks after the story aired, the Kapuri Children's Resource Foundation, a non-governmental organization in the Upper West Region, stepped in to support her. So far, the NGO has catered for Charlene's educational needs. Charlene was also attended to by doctors at the War Memorial Hospital at Navongo in the Upper East Region. Together with her grandmother, Charlene was attended to by Dr. Majid Al Hassan, a general surgeon at the hospital. He conducted various tests and an x ray to determine her health condition. The condition, we got the diagnosis from taking the history, and the history and the examination put together points to the fact that she has a, a form of uh, an erectile malformation and also she had a, a hip dysplasia and that is why that she's uh, not able to walk very well she walks with a limp and the anorectal malformation is the reason why she passes toilet i mean physics with much difficulty communication between charlene and the doctor was challenging since charlene cannot hear dr al hassan appealed to government to create an opportunity for health professionals to learn sign language in order to communicate effectively with hearing impaired patients Every health worker should have some form of training in sign language. I, I think it's, it's, it's very important in, in the sense that when you are taking the history, a direct response is always better than an indirect one where somebody has to listen and tell you. I will even go further to say, I mean, uh, we should have the opportunity to learn some sign language so that we can use it in our uh, practice. After examining Charlene, it was recommended that she should be taken to the Konfanochi Teaching Hospital in Kumase for further treatment. Members of the Kapuri Children's Resource Foundation visited Charlene's school to formally inform them of the development. Chairman of the foundation, Dr. Solomon Dancia, spoke to TV3 Mission. One, to help her have her medical conditions corrected by providing the necessary financial assistance to cater for uh, hospital bills and also to cater for transportation 
and other needs that she may have uh, during the process. We also like to assist the family by providing basic uh, needs for the grandmother taking sole responsibility of her upkeep. Public Relations Officer of the Kapuri Children's Resource Foundation, Mohamed Musa Bipo, expressed appreciation to TV3 for airing the story. We say thank you to TV3 Mission Ghana for airing this documentary on Charlene Tongbane. Uh, honestly, when we saw the, uh, the documentary, then we came in we realized that a lot of challenges were being faced by the family. So the foundation initially started with that support, then we were able to organize some money and some food stuff for uh, the grandmother to give to Charlene. And thankfully, uh, the girl was uh, sent back to school. Grandmother of Charlene, Agnes Tungbani, also thanked TV3 and the Kapuri Children's Resource Foundation for coming to the aid of their family. I'm happy. Kapoor family, Foundation and TV3 do that. I'm happy. They help me. They help me. They help me. They pay their school fees and eating something, something. The Kapoor family give me everything. Head teacher of the War School for the Deaf, Sylvester Bayuan, stressed the need for inclusive education in the country. Because of our neighbors, Burkina Faso, Togo, and uh, Cote d'Ivoire, which are all francophone countries, we should learn French. In a similar way, if the policy is there for everybody in Ghana to learn sign language, then eventually everybody will be able to speak or to, to use the sign language, and for that matter, the deaf will not be cut out. All the best to Charlene and that's it for Mission. Mission is supported by the Star Ghana Foundation with thanks to Danida, UK Aid and the EU.